I'm PC 576 Mel Stanbrook from Lincolnshire Police and actually over the last couple of years I've been the Mini Police Coordinator for Lincolnshire Police so you might have seen me in your schools, in your classes or actually your teachers might have said this spoken to me on the telephone or via email especially when they were getting all the programmes set up. So we've come today because we want to tell you a little bit about what's happening with Mini Police over the next 12 months. And actually it was only right we kind of filmed that and came into your classes ourselves to actually tell you all about it. And so we're going to show you a little bit of footage today that we filmed at Spilsby Primary with a group of Year 6 children who kind of helped us out in Lincolnshire Police to try and get the message across. So enjoy the footage today. At the end of it we've got a few questions from a couple of kids who are in year six who really really wanted to know the answer to these questions and hopefully they might cover any questions that you guys have got. So enjoy the footage and I hope to see you again in your school soon. So can anybody remember what you have to have to be a mini police officer? Remember what you have to show other pupils in school or in your community? Can you remember that word? Anybody remember? Begins with an R. Oh, it's not resilience, but I do love that word. I definitely want resilience this year. That would be absolutely brilliant with all these changes. Responsibility. Oh, I love responsibility, but it's not that one. Respect. Yeah, brilliant. So, as Lincolnshire Police, we really, really want you to still have respect for everybody in your school. Because why wouldn't we want that as a police force? We want us to show respect to everybody in our school and show respect for everybody in our communities. So that is something that I always wanted to do. So what did mini police officers do in schools? Can you remember there was something else that we asked mini police officers to specifically do? Help other people, absolutely. So help others. And maybe address problems perhaps. So we always used to ask people to go and um, speak to the teachers, didn't we? To go and speak to the playground monitors, to go and speak to those mini police officers that are in the playground. We still absolutely want that, guys, okay? So regardless of mini police not looking the same and not feeling the same, we still want people to be helping each other in our schools. So what else did I always ask? It was that really funny, really long word that began with an A. Oh, and an M. Can anybody remember? In fact, there's a better word, actually. So it began with an R. If I said, oh, so-and-so is a really good... Wrong. Amazing, yeah. So as many police officers... We want you to be amazing role models, okay? So really good role models in schools and actually help other people. But do we only want you to be role models for the school? Who do you think I want you to be a really good role model for? The whole of Lincolnshire. The whole of Lincolnshire is the best answer. Yeah, totally, the whole of Lincolnshire, but also who else for? Who do I work for? Yeah, Lincolnshire Police. So I absolutely want you to be an amazing role model, okay, for Lincolnshire Police. So PCSO Wasp, do you think he's an amazing role model for Lincolnshire Police? He totally is. Okay, so absolutely, I want you to be an amazing role model. Okay, so can you remember, if you look round your school corridors, and I think it will be the same in all schools across Lincolnshire, what have the mini police made to go in your corridors? think can we have gone posters? yeah absolutely posters and is there lots of information on those posters yeah yeah so okay so within the mini police program they might have designed programs or posters on littering okay they might have done posters on drink driving they might have done posters on something that's happening in their community and we've got out into the communities and we've spoken to members of the public about that we still want you as schools to be able to do that. And as Lincolnshire Police, we can still help you to do that. Okay, so we are nearly there. So playground patrols will look slightly different this year because we're only going to have year six be mini police officers in schools. So they will be slightly different within your schools. But we want your schools 
to actually lead that. So we want you to lead that and see what happens with that. Okay? So, have you noticed a slight difference about the Mini Please program? So, we might not be able to get out into our communities as much. Okay? So that is a slight difference. So that's something that we're quite sad about within the Mini Please team. So what we would say is, as a school, you can still kind of, if you have social media accounts within your school, you can deliver the messages via your social media. As Mini Please teams, you can still put the messages out there. You could maybe still do posters and still do things, but actually get them sent out onto your school websites, onto your school web pages. So you can still design the posters, you can still do the awesome pieces of art that you've always done within the programme. We're just going to send it out slightly differently. So, who remembers what song I use for Safer Strangers? Head, shoulders. head, shoulders. Knees and toes. Knees and toes. So, why do I do head, shoulders, knees and toes? Can anybody remember why I do head, shoulders, knees and toes? Yeah, so when we ring the police, so again, for everybody in Lincolnshire, what number do we ring the police on for an emergency? In an emergency. So you need the police really fast, something's happening. 999. 999, that's amazing. Okay, so well done. One point to you. So 999 to everybody else in the schools that are listening to us. And what is the other number? So you've seen something perhaps in the park. And it, it made your tummy feel a bit funny and you were a little bit worried, but you didn't have a phone, you didn't have any way to contact the police. But when you get home, you think, oh, do you know what? I ought to contact the police. What number do you then think you need to ring? No, it's not. 101. 101. Well done. Yes, yeah, so it's 101. So 101 in a non-emergency, it's 999 in an emergency. Okay, so that is still relevant. So we would normally teach that in Safer Strangers. So to go back to head, shoulders, knees and toes, I would always teach that in Safer Strangers because when you ring 999 or 101, are we going to ask as a police force what that person looks like? We absolutely are going to ask what that person looks like because otherwise the police officer that comes along in their blue light car, do you think we're going to know who that is? No. Will a description absolutely help me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so the song I want you to remember is what do they look like on their head? Okay. Do they have glasses? What are their eyes like? What are their what's their hair like? Do they have ear piercings? Do they wear earrings? Have they got glasses on? Okay, on their shoulders, I want you to think, what are they wearing on their shoulders? Are they wearing a t-shirt, a jumper, a vest top, a top that has something particular on, like a picture of a big fluffy cat? So what are they wearing on their shoulders? And then their knees, what are they wearing on their knees? Or actually, have they just got shorts on? Are they wearing trousers like mine? Or are they wearing trousers like yours? Are they wearing skirts? What colour is that skirt? What colour is those trousers? Okay. And then again, so toes, why do you think I say toes? Shoes. Shoes, yeah. So what shoes are they wearing? Have they got flip-flops on? Have they got shoes on? Have they got boots on? Okay, so I want you to always think of that song, head, shoulders, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Okay, so you can also think what their particular things on their face look like. So it's a really, really good song to remember. Is there any questions on that bit, guys? Do you know when you're talking to a police about what they're wearing and stuff? Can't you do like their eye colour and stuff? Yes, absolutely. Eye colour is really important. So just for everybody else on the camera, Joshua said, um, should we really have a look at their eye colour as well? Okay, so absolutely. If you know what their eye colour is, you can definitely tell us because that helps us lots and lots and lots. And that's why I say that head, shoulders, knees and toes. But remember, always keep really safe. So don't go up really close to them if you don't have to. Okay, so that's what I would say. Would it help like when you're describing what someone's done, would it help like... If we tell you what they did, then you can, if you 
Yeah, absolutely. So just for the camera, Maisie has asked. So along with that description, do Lincolnshire police want to know what they're actually doing? Yeah, we do. So when you ring on the 999 or you ring on 101, we absolutely want to know how and what they are doing. OK, but I haven't got a song for that, Maisie. So you're going to have to just go for it. <laughs> OK, do you want to do something fun? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Of course. OK. So. All right, just for the camera then. Let's do it. Let's do it. But uh, what have we remembered about the stereotypes? Question, do, does it get a little bit um, crazy? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? OK, are we not going to let it get crazy today? No. No, because we are streaming across the whole of Lincolnshire. Yay. Yay. Oh my god. Okay. So. So stereotypes then. Three uh, birthday presents that girls ask for. Makeup. Makeup. Yes. Another girl one. A data card. A data card. Um, I'll call it data card. I'll call it a data card. So that's like money for your phone, isn't it? Money for your mobile phone. Right. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Hold on. A pet. Yeah, totally. Okay. So, what do the boys want for their birthdays? A football. A football. Gloves. Gloves for goalkeeping gloves. Okay, what else boys want for their birthday? Um, football t-shirts. Oh, can we have another non-football one? <laughs> Xbox games. Xbox games. <laughs> okay. So, what? Oh, what jobs do girls want to do when they're older? A model. Okay. What else? A makeup artist. A makeup artist. Okay. What else? A vet. A vet. Good one. What do boys want to be when they're older? <laughs> what do boys want to be? Oh, not a footballer. Go for somewhere else. Come on, guys. A mechanic. A mechanic. Well done. Oh, okay. okay, what else do boys want to do when they're older? Uh, be a celebrity. A celebrity. <laughs> okay, what else? A chef. A chef. Ooh, the next Gordon Ramsay. Okay. What do uh, girls get told off for at school? Talking. Yes. What else do girls get told off for at school? Bringing makeup in. Bringing makeup in. Bringing makeup in. Okay. What else do girls get told off for at school? Wearing the wrong uniform. I'll go for that. Oh. Okay, what do boys get told off for at school? You've forgotten? Arguing at football. Arguing. Is that because you had outside play today? Um, what else do boys get told off for at school? Shouting out. Shouting out. Oh, that's... Okay, anything else then? What else do people get told off for, boys? Pardon? Being annoying. Okay, so what else do... 
girls. Um, what sports are girls are good at? Swimming. Girls. Gymnastics. Get what else? Tennis. I heard tennis be said quite a lot. Okay. So, what sports um, do boys like best? <laughs> <laughs> Running! Well done for not saying footballing. <laughs> um, netball. Netball. It's out the net for boys. Swimming. Why did I say football? Amazing that no one said football, isn't it? Okay, hands down. Okay. So, um, and actually, you guys in this class haven't done this that long ago. So, last one, just last one. Favourite uh, colours for girls? Pink. For boys, then oh, blue, blue, black. 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 Who hasn't answered? Red. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to write that down. Don't say well done yet. <laughs> More aggressive colours. Okay, so now you guys have done this not that long ago. Okay. Um, why can't boys have makeup for their birthday? They can. Okay, guys. Okay, well done. I know this bit gets really exciting, but remember, I have a microphone on and Martin is listening, so we don't want it to get too loud. So, okay. So, yeah, absolutely. Makeup. Boys can get it. James Charles. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, can boys not be vets? Yes, they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah. No, they can. Anything girls can do, boys can do. <gasps> well yeah. done. Anything that girls can do, Boys can do. Although, wait a minute. What was really interesting? Amazing comment. Amazing comment. Everything that girls can do, boys can do. Okay. Why do boys only like more aggressive colours? Really? So are girls? Can girls like aggressive colours? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I love the fact that we've got swing on both circles, okay, but actually as the circles go, we have totally different answers on both of the circles, don't we? And actually we always get this, don't we? We always get this, but actually it's down to individuals. Individuals is really important, okay, so me as a, as a girl, I am a police officer, who quite often in lots of schools say it's a boy's job, but I love makeup. Okay, which is totally on the girl circle. And that's totally fine. So what is really, really important to come out of this, so is everybody listening? What is really, really important to come out of this is we can all like the same things. We can all do the same things. It doesn't matter whether we are girls or boys. It doesn't matter what our likes and our dislikes are. We can do it and we can absolutely do it. And you can go through life thinking I can do anything and like any colour and like and, and want to do all those jobs and all those hobbies and all those sports because you can absolutely do it. It doesn't matter whether you're a girl or a boy. Okay, it's really, really important. Okay. Everybody is different, but everybody's equal, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Everybody's different, but everybody's equal. Yeah. Amazing. If there's like one thing I don't think boys can do, but girls can, it's nursing. 
So that's really, really interesting because actually there's lots of boys' nurses. But that comes from our stereotypes that have been built over years and years and years. Because in the war, lots of, lots of men went out to war, didn't they? And they went and fought in the war, okay, which you will learn throughout this kind of year. And you touched a little bit on last year. Okay, so the girls were left at home and the women were left at home. So we went into nursing jobs. So actually, as a stereotype, that still stands. But actually, there's lots and lots of boys in our NHS that are brilliant nurses. Okay, although that didn't come up on our circles, but well done for bringing it up. But absolutely, girls and boys. And it's the same as doctors. Quite a lot of people say it's only boys that can be doctors, but actually, it's very much girls and boys. It's anybody. Okay, brilliant. Will we have nominations this year? So, will we have nominations? So that's slightly different this year, guys, because obviously our nominations won't be actually happening this year. So due to COVID, obviously, we're not going to get elected many police officers um, into position from year five, like you guys would have been last year. But we're still hoping that we, as an organisation, are still going to be invited into school to kind of deliver our lessons, but we just won't have many police representatives within the classes. Will we have PCSOs and police officers in our mini police classes? So, um, so will we have many police classes this year? So, with your police officer or PCSO? My thoughts is, we really, really hope so. We are keeping everything crossed. But because of COVID again, we've got to do things slightly differently. So we are de designing lots and lots of different things. So hopefully we're gonna work with each school individually. And if your schools would like to have us in, we absolutely still will be in front of you and delivering classes and delivering things like we've done before. But we've just made lots and lots of different alterations in the program so we can, we can do it with all these new rules that have been put in place. What will we be doing in those lessons? Okay, so what will we be doing during our mini police lessons? So as we speak, literally as we are recording today, there is lots of people working up at police headquarters and we have been designing um, animation. So we've got an animation for the Safer Strangers lesson. We're going to have lots of different kind of PowerPoints and every single mini police lesson will be finished with a Kahoot quiz. So you still will be learning lots and lots of different things as we would have done before. It's just going to be slightly different. But actually, as pupils in a primary school, you're going to be really used to what we're going to deliver it and how we're going to deliver it this year. So you guys are going to be on it and we are still learning and trying to get it all out in time, okay? So that's how it will be delivered this year. So just from me, I want to say a really, really big goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the footage today that we managed to record inside an actual school, which was very exciting. Um, I hope you enjoy the online packages over the next year. We really have put lots and lots of thought into them. So we hope you enjoy learning them. And I really, everything cross that we are back in your school um, as soon as we can be. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.